So you have gone through the process of transcription and translation. Uh, that is using the types of enzymes that are going to copy from DNA into RNA. It's the formation of the ribosomes, uh, the reading of the messenger RNA, the reading of the codons, and then the manufacturing of the peptide bonds between the amino acids to build it. Then we went through the whole processing part of those polypeptides um, that would happen in the endoplasmic reticulum and the Golgi apparatus. What we're doing now is going to take a step back and not look at the molecules and the enzymes and those sorts of things. We're looking at just the, the process overall um, and an application of it in uh, the actual code of DNA. So we're looking at decoding DNA. Uh, and this is something that's a problem uh, that I will be giving to the students in the class um, to be doing on, on an exam. And so you're going to, I'm going to give you some DNA and you're going to tell me what is the amino acid sequence. All right, so what does the DNA code for? The DNA codes for, in this case, it's going to be a messenger RNA. And the messenger RNA uh, will then be translated into a polypeptide. So you're going to actually do that whole process. So I'm going to give you a long sequence to do. And right now I'm going to explain the basics of that process uh, with a really, really short little sequence. Okay, we're going to skip a whole variety of different details, specific things with leader sequences and, and a variety of things, the removal of introns and that. That's not all. That's not going to be part of this. That's a little more advanced. Um, but we're going to look at the codon table. So you're going to see codon tables uh, online in your books. Um, this is one example of a codon table. Uh, if you Google codon table, you'll find a whole variety of them. You will see this uh, circular one like this. It's often a favorite of uh, many of the students. And so um, I'm going to go over how to read it and use it and apply it to actually decode the DNA. So we start going to start off here, uh, stepping through the process. Okay, the process is right transcription first. So that's DNA. Right now we have our DNA, and we need to go in to RNA. So we're going to be reading one of these strands using it as a template. And in this particular case, or in the problem, say that I would give you, I would just be giving you that particular template strand. Uh, and what you'd be doing is using it to make a piece of RNA that would be the same as, say, the coding strand. So say this would be the coding strand up here. This is the template. The RNA polymerase would be using this particular strand here. So what's going to happen is you're going to go from DNA to RNA. That's going to be your job. You're going to have to read it nucleotide by nucleotide, and then you're going to do the process of transcription. So going in order, so G, C, C, I'm going A. Now remember, in RNA, there are no T's. So A would pair not with T, but since this is RNA, it would have a U. Okay, so U, G, okay, so and the other thing is make sure you are lining these up as you do it, because if you do this and you skip a nucleotide, if you add in an extra nucleotide, you're going to shift, uh, and it's called a frame shift. So a frame shift is a type of mutation, and it will then shift over um, the amino acids from that point forward. So every single amino acid essentially will be wrong from the point forward that you do that particular shift. So you do not want uh, to do that. So this would be the RNA that would result. Yeah, this would be now because they'd be complementary. You know, this would be the five prime end. This would get a get a five prime cap because right we said this is going to be our messenger RNA and that's what you would do so I give you the DNA you transcribe it into a piece of RNA so this is what you do now the next step what is it the next step is going to be find the start codon so this is what a ribosome does right the ribosome would bind to the five prime cap and it would start to read essentially it's the initiation complex doing that right the small subunit with the methionine transfer RNA, they would read until they can find the AUG start codon. That start codon is going to code for the first amino acid, right, which is already there attached to that transfer RNA. And it is, if you just remember, it's methionine. But let's say we're going to use the table. So we're going to use the table now. So AUG, that's the first codon, the first three nucleotides. So we go over to this table, the largest ones here in the center, that's the first nucleotide, A. The second one's a U, so we go here to this group of four, here, U, C, A, G. So it's going to be A, U, right, and then it's G. So now there's another group of four, U, C, A, G, so it's A, U, G, 
AUG is, and we have here methionine, right? So we know this is the first amino acid is going to be methionine. Now, from this point forward, what you have to do is break up this sequence within the RNA into groups of three. Those groups of three are the codons, right? So these are the codons in the RNA coding for the amino acids, and you're using this table to decode it, right? That's what you're doing. So when people talk about the genetic code, this is it. This is like the code breaker. You're breaking the code from, you're going from nucleotide sequence to amino acid sequence. So now we're gonna just go through a few of these. This is a super short little peptide as an example um, of how this process works. So GGC, so we're gonna come over to the table again. We go G for the first nucleotide, G for the second nucleotide, and then C for the third, and that's glycine. Okay, so our second amino acid is glycine, right? So this would be a peptide bond, you know, formed between the two. The ribosome would be doing this. This would be in the process of elongation, right? So now we have a, a third one, third codon, A, C, G. Go over here again, A, C, G, threonine. Come on down. Uh, yeah, it's THR. Sure. All right, now we have UCA, so we go over here, U, C, A, serine, the fourth one is serine. Now, the, the, uh, there's a problem I'm going to give you to do, the students in my class. Uh, it's going to have about 20-some amino acids in length, so you're going you're gonna to do this process, and you're going to have to do it, uh, you know, you're going to be decoding about 20 or more nucleotides. Now, what's going to happen here is this one, CCU, it's going to be our, our uh, fifth one. So we find, again, the C, C, U is proline. That's our, and this is exactly what you would do um, in the, the homework problem I would give you. You're gonna, I'm gonna just give, all I'm gonna give you is this, just a sequence of DNA, and that's it. With it, you're gonna have to get a code on table. You're gonna have to then take the sequence I give you, copy it, transcribe into a piece of RNA, take that piece of RNA, find the start codon, break it up, and then use the table to decode. You're going to give me a list, one, two, three, four, five, six, up to 20 some amino acids in order. That's the idea. Now we get over here to this is this sixth codon that we're reading. It's UGA. And you may remember that might stand out for you uh, because there's a few of these that I asked you to, to memorize. If you're in a biochemistry course, if you're in an advanced cell biology course, you're probably going to be asked to memorize the actual codons and which amino acids that they code for. Um, but this is a, again, intro cell biology course, so we're not really doing that. I'd like you to be able to apply um, the, that knowledge and be able to solve these problems, but you don't have to memorize all, all those sorts of details. UGA though, if you remember, is one of the stop codons. So remember there are 61 codons that code for amino acids here in this table. And you can see sometimes sometimes they're in groups of four. So you can see like GC and then pretty much anything else, GCG, GCA, GCC, GCU, anything that starts with a G and then has a C for the second nucleotide is going to code for the amino acid alanine, right? And that's, that's the true for several of these where you have a cluster of them together. Some of them it's two together um, and some of them are split across the the table. So you can see serine here has an A, G, C, a serine, but over here we have a U, C, you know, A is, is serine. So serine kind of is spread apart. There's a few others where that happens. But you, you don't have to know, your, like I said, or memorize those, but just um, the things you might want to memorize or the example of the start codon, methionine, and now this one here, which is a stop, right? So we said there are three stops. Three of the 64 total codons don't code for amino acids. They were stopped. So we have UAA, which is stop, UAG, which is stop, and then UGA, that's also stop. And that's one of the ones we have here. So there's not a sixth amino acid in our sequence. Um, UGA codes for stop. That would bring on termination of translation. So protein synthesis would end, right? So this would be our amino acid sequence. The first, the five amino acids here, Methionine, glycine, threonine, serine, proline, and that, and that would be it. So, um, like I said, a, a codon table is something in our class you can um, print off. Just search it up online. Uh, we have one in the book. Uh, you could find one that you prefer and just use that, that one. 
Uh, but this one is one that people uh, typically like, um, and this is the way you would apply it. Uh, so go ahead and give the problem a, a try, and, uh, and this is how you would do it.